So clearly we've seen retaliatory actions, it seems like every day, uh, between, the China, uh, between the Chinese uh, and the U.S. governments. Uh, what other retaliations do you think we can expect from China and the U.S. as these tensions continue to kind of ratchet higher? Well, Leslie, uh, good morning. And there's no telling, um, you know, what's next. Um, this is, I think, an unfortunate example of uh, political theater uh, running amok between um, these two uh, powerful nations. Wow. Um, wow. If you take um, uh, the actions literally that the U.S. has initiated over just the last few weeks, whether it's, you know, TikTok and WeChat, uh, Operation Clean Network, a president once again resorting to racial slurs in characterizing um, uh, COVID-19, you would think that, that China has really uh, uh, taken actions that um, are uh, uh, exceptionally extreme over that period, and yet uh, they have really not done that. Um, uh, I, I certainly am not thrilled with the uh, the arrest of uh, Jimmy Lai, uh, but um, you know, barring those types of uh, unfortunate retaliatory um, uh, uh, actions. What's really gone on is a political uh, foil by the United States to compensate for the Trump administration's malfeasance in dealing with coronavirus. And the deeper the hole the president goes in, according to a strategy document released on Politico in, in April, the more the attack strategy against China can be expected to intensify. And that's exactly what's going on right now. This is politics, not substance. Does it become something more uh, than political theater, as you described it? Does it become, you know, political reality? Will we start to see actual impact from some of this tit for tat uh, that could have broader economic implications? Well, it's that's certainly uh, uh, possible. There'll be a review of the so-called phase one uh, trade deal that was struck in uh, January of, of this year. That's scheduled for um, uh, a Friday of, of this week. And the review will find that uh, China has not uh, uh, come close to satisfying the stipulated trajectory of the deal. And so the U.S. Uh, could certainly be expected to take further uh, retaliatory actions for uh, China based on noncompliance due to uh, understandable uh, COVID-related uh, pressure. So that could certainly... Uh, uh, be another uh, area to explore. And then, as Eunice just reported, with uh, military uh, traffic in the air and obviously tensions ongoing in the South China Sea, the risk of, a, of an outright military accident uh, in this climate is something to, uh, I think, raise serious concerns about. So, you know, we've, we've created, um, you know, uh, what appears to be uh, a generational existential threat uh, out of a very complex uh, 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 trade uh, dispute. And, uh, you know, by taking it to the brink, there is legitimate risk to be concerned about.